Hello, you guys. What is up? And welcome to Vlogmas Day. Nine? Nine. Vlogmas Day Nine. <laughs> what is up, you guys? So it is currently um a time. It's five, like what? Oh, five? Five oh two in the afternoon. I just got off from work. I'm getting the cat some aqua. There we go. I just got off from work. I didn't really vlog today because work was kind of crazy. Um, but I'm vlogging now and I'm getting ready to head out to where else but to meet my parents. Um, I'm actually about to get Aaliyah and we're going to um, the store because she wants to get some new clothes and she has to get stuff for work so that's where we're going right now but ah i just follow my foot okay um but i decided to vlog so that's where we're at i am gonna wait for her to tell me that she's like home before i drive off anywhere because i think my parents are at walmart why i don't know i'm not a walmart person but that's where we're at you can't see my feet that's where we're at <laughs> What's up guys? So, um, it is like 10 o'clock at night right now. I'm currently laying in bed. You can like see my body. And I decided that, well, one, I don't have any footage for today because I didn't vlog earlier and I didn't really vlog later either. And what better to do than just talk? um also the cats are being weird but yes so i just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and really just like catch up see what's going on you know update you what's going on in my life outside of like the vlog so go get yourself a glass of wine strap in get comfortable i don't know what just happened get comfortable and let's just have a little bit of girl talk you know so, um, first off, it's Vlogmas Day 9, and by the time this goes up, it's going to be Vlogmas Day 10. I, for the most part, have been feeling decent for Vlogmas. I definitely would say, um, something that I tend to struggle with a lot is when I'm not having good, like, mental health days or mental health weeks or whatever, um, I just stop vlogging. I don't really want to record i don't want to put on a happy persona you know when i'm not feeling my best there's no point in me doing that um and that definitely shows in my vlogs and uh, um i feel like during vlogmas that's really hard to like do because your one job is to post a vlog every single day for the month so you can't just turn around and be like oh i'm not gonna post anything anymore you know um, so that has just been like a really big struggle. I know I, I briefly talked about it earlier in Vlogmas and, um, I have talked about it a couple of times before. If you guys don't know, I do suffer from anxiety. Um, I have had it for quite some time and, um, lately, especially I want to say with 2020 as a whole and just how this year has gone, it's been a lot harder for me to you know just be at home be by myself and um just deal with my anxiety because i don't have so many distractions going on um and a lot of the times i just find myself getting really overwhelmed when i try to cope with it and i've made the decision to go and get um essentially get medicated so i I don't know what my cat is doing. <laughs> um, I'm going to be reaching out to my doctor and trying to get um, put on anti-anxiety medications. It's something that I have thought about doing for quite some time. I want to say it was for like honestly well over two or three years. Um, I kept going back and forth on it. I was like, oh, I don't want to, but I should, but I don't. And finally, I'm just at the point where I'm like, it's it's something we're talking about. It doesn't necessarily help. I've tried doing regular coping mechanisms and doesn't help. So um, I have decided to get on anti-anxiety medication and I'm going to bring you guys along for the journey with that as well. I'm definitely doing my research and trying just to learn as much as possible about it um, 
because whenever you decide to introduce any medication into your body, it's terrifying. Um, but it's just something that I want to do. So uh, that's exciting. <laughs> um, I know the other thing that is really going on right now, um, I've joined a weight loss program. So essentially at my job, um, they offer this, like my health insurance comes with uh, this like weight loss clinic that I can join. And uh, ooh. oh my God, sorry guys, it's like past my bedtime. Um, <laughs> but it comes with this weight loss clinic I can join. And essentially with it, I do like uh, three weigh-ins a week and I'm supposed to like track my meals, but they don't count calories. You just say what you ate. Um, and I get presented a health coach and I'm in like this specific group and overall it's just supposed to help with weight loss as a whole. Um, and I am, I don't know, I'm, I'm very nervous about starting it. I know I have started and not completed so many like just weight loss fads and weight loss options and stuff and it just hasn't worked out for me. So to actually say like, I'm going to do this is definitely, um, it's different. It's really different. And I, I'm just at the point right now, guys, where I'm just like, I want to be better and I want to be committed to whatever decision I decide to do with my weight loss, you know, and not even doing it for the purpose of losing weight, but just for the purpose of like living a better life. I, oh, he found something. But yeah, living a better life. That's just where I'm at. I want to feel comfortable. And, you know, I want to make sure that the person that I feel on the inside matches the person that I see on the outside. So um, I'm going to keep you guys updated with that as well. There's going to be lots of updates to come with my mental and physical health. Um, because I feel like it's all things that, you know, you, you should feel comfortable talking about. Especially being a, like, a plus size person you know my entire brand is built on the fact that I am a plus size girl I show like plus size hauls I do plus size clothing so on and so forth so I kind of have to like I don't have to but I feel obligated talking about it so yes hey guys what's up so I am driving right now to um pick up well essentially go to my parents house and then pick up my sister why are we at a stop the light ain't red what's happening chief i am confusion did this truck like hit someone no he's going okay slowly but surely we're making our way downtown uh <laughs> strange anyway so i'm driving and i had this thought and i want to talk to you guys about it because i have this conversation all right sir we get it you're on a motorcycle i'm vlogging ya. oh there's two people on the motorcycle dope anyway um i have this conversation with my friend sam like all the time about this and i really wanted to talk to you guys about it because i feel like I just, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else feels this way. I am someone who has been single for a very long time. Like, a very long time. It's honestly kind of sad. And <laughs> I am very, like, okay with my singleness. I'm not upset with being single. I'm not mad at being single. But I'm also just at the point where I'm like, I want a relationship. Like, I want to be in a relationship. I miss, like, having a person and like doing cute stuff with that person and like having that person to talk to and speak with and like hang out and like cuddling and shit like that like I just I miss being in a relationship and I haven't honestly been able to experience an adult relationship since like uh, high school honestly and like granted yes I've gone on like dates and I've like talked to people but I just I don't know. I want to get in a relationship and I want to get in a relationship with someone who's like actually worth my time. Like I'm tired of talking to people and being around people 
who just want to waste time. Like, I am not a hookup kind of girl. And I feel like uh, I'm back next to this loud ass motorcycle. Oh my God. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't get that, especially with being like a plus size girl. You tend to think that you have to settle. And like, I don't want to settle. I refuse to settle for any like Joe Schmo who comes out of the woodworks and decides that I'm worth his attention. Like I'm not settling for anyone, but I do want to settle with someone, if that makes sense, you know? So I just, I don't know. I don't know why this like cop car lights are on, but he's like at the turn signal, like Mr. Copper. Can we get it together here? Oh, the light that's out. Okay. Weird flex. Anyway, um, yeah, I just, I'm just ready for a relationship, guys. And I feel like it's something where, like I said, I'm not looking to settle for anyone. And being a plus size girl, I think that a lot of times you go into things with the mindset of like, I'm not going to settle for this person. I refuse to settle for this person. And they, because you're plus size they're like well no like you should just be happy someone's attracted to you which i don't agree with i think that's total bullshit and i just i don't know i i want to find someone who's worthy of my time because i have time to give and love to give but you gotta be worthy of it i'm just tired of being single that's it um <laughs> all this came about because i was listening to a song by her so moral of the story don't listen to her on the radio anymore just kidding absolutely love her but yes right now i'm on my way to pick up my little sister it's sunset that's why i look dark right now but uh, i don't know i just want to talk about that real quick it was weighing heavy on my head hey guys does anyone else's cat just do this like first off he's so cute but second of all why the same Good morning. Hello, you guys. I have something in my hair. What is up? And welcome back to Vlogmas Day 10. Currently, I am working as one does. Um, but I just ordered my food and I wanted to show you guys. I got a poke bowl, but let me show you this poke bowl. Hold on. Hold on. So like I said, I got a poke bowl, but it has flaming hot cheetos on it i'm so excited to try this i think it's gonna be super super good um yes i'm excited okay so i'm like in between doing stuff at work but i'm gonna try it on camera um oh my god jacks off me go okay this guy was asleep until i went to get my food and then he woke up so it has, like I said, avocado, flaming hots, corn, scallions, masago, uh, tuna, and uh, I don't know what else, but I'm so excited to try this. Okay, I don't remember ordering corn actually. Okay. Okay, flaming Hots on a poke bowl. I'm not mad at her. I don't think they put my sauce on. It's so like that's one. But you know, you win some, you lose some. In case anyone was curious, this is what working with a eight month old cat is like. Oh my God. <laughs> Jax, figure it out, bro. Hello you guys, what is up? So currently it is about 5.53 this person's light is so freaking bright. They're in a truck. That's why it's bright as hell. 
Anyway, thank you for giving me the light though. Um, currently, I am on my way to where else but my sister's house. It's about that time. Um, I was asked by Aaliyah to go and pick up Chipotle for her. She originally wanted me to go to some like burger place. And I'm like, girl, we're literally about to eat dinner in like an hour beach. Like, no, you can't just eat some chips and guac in the mic, like in the house. <sighs> but like the good sister I am, I am picking her up Chipotle. So, my God, the car just, okay. I guess we're just full of like stupidity driving today, people. Um, so yes, I'm on my way. Luckily, Chipotle is like on my way to my, to Kyra's house. So I'm heading over there now um i don't think i'm gonna be there that late honestly just because i don't really feel like being out super late um i have a slight headache it more than likely is because i haven't drank any coffee and i do know my sister has coffee at her house so i think i'm gonna have one but yes the only thing that sucks and you guys can't see me the thing that sucks about vlogmas and vlogging in the winter is the fact that i'm black so you can't see me in the dark! Very frustrating. What's up guys? So it is officially Vlogmas day 11. Yes, but I'm gonna combine this with Vlogmas day 10, possibly nine. I just didn't have enough clips to make a full vlog. Anyway, happy Vlogmas, you guys. So I am coming at you with, ugh, finally getting some of my Black Friday stuff back from Old Navy. Let me tell you, I went through a freaking adventure with Old Navy, okay? So I had ordered all of this stuff. Somehow two orders got placed with Old Navy. One of the orders still haven't shown up. Called them, they canceled it, but I think it's still being shipped. It's a whole thing. But I got the second order and I already know two things I'm gonna be putting back because I don't like them. <laughs> so the first thing that I got is a pair of the compression leggings. I got them because as you guys know, I am trying to get back on my health status, my health grind. But I don't like these leggings because I got them in a 4X and they are really, I don't know why, for whatever reason, Old Navy and I have an issue because they make the legs of all of their plus size things so wide and I don't have wide, like I have wide calves, but I don't have it to the point where my legs are like outrageously wide. So very annoying, but uh, these are gonna be going back. They are just some of their compression leggings. Like I said, these um, again are in a 4X, but it's gonna be a no for me, dog. So can't wait to take those back to Old Navy today. Um, it's gonna be a fun time. Excuse me, cat. I also have to be like very cautious to not get like cat hair all over it because my cats are obnoxious that way. Um, next thing we have is another pair of the leggings. Is this the... Oh, okay. Excuse me, kitty. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is another pair of the leggings. Same style, also going back. I think this might be the other order. Yeah, okay, this is the other pair of the leggings. Same style, going back. Um, that's so funny, excuse me, please go. All right, next, these are the two things I was most excited for. So I have this jacket and I have been wanting a jacket like this for such a long time. Um, I know Levi's has these like Sherpa jackets that are so cute. They're a denim Sherpa jacket. And I have been wanting a jacket like this. And I keep going back and forth on getting it for Levi's. And then I saw Old Navy had it. And Old Navy's Black Friday deal was like 50% off the entire store. Granted, it doesn't get that cold in Texas, but <laughs> I still wanted one. Um, so it's a denim like trucker jacket, but it is fully, um, that's what I'm looking for. It's fully Sherpa, like lined, which is really nice. So I just thought this would be so cute with like jeans and booties or like a, ugh, 
or like you know leggings or something like that um this is also in a 4x which i'm really happy i sized up in it this is so like cute will i be able to close this bad boy yes and no but i'm not ever gonna actually close it but i love how it looks yeah i'm really not mad at this at all i also really like the wash um and this jacket was i think it originally retailed for like 60 and i got it for like 30 or something like that um right around 30 dollars. but super cute i'm kind of excited about this and then the next thing that i got that i am so geeked about this was the thing that I was like ready to have is this Sherpa pullover. Oh my God, this looks so, it's a hoodie. Oh, I didn't realize this is a hoodie. Y'all, y'all, hold up, hold up. Oh my God, this looks so comfy. I'm gonna put it on again. Would I normally wear it with this sweater? No but i'm gonna try it on for aesthetic purposes oh yo okay so i originally got this and the order that shouldn't have been placed but was placed anyway in a four and this is a three and i'm kind of happy that i got the three i feel like a teddy bear in the best possible way like oh hold up guys <laughs> hold on hold on hold on I'm like so obsessed with this and it has the gold like hardware on it which is really nice too but like oh I love this I love this a lot all right guys so currently it's about 12 10 I'm on my lunch actually and I'm about to make me lunch I'm gonna set you guys right here so for lunch today I am having some tortellini with uh, homemade alfredo sauce and some broccoli because that just sounds really good to me so i currently have the water boiling i'm just making my homemade tortellini or like tortellini alfredo sauce so i just have some half and half uh should probably use heavy cream but i have half and half and it's just gonna work um a little bit of butter that i'm gonna melt with some flour and then uh some cheese so i'm gonna add in there i love that this cat is just like yeah i'm gonna jump on the counter and be obnoxious. Come on, down you go. So, let's cook. Okay, so here is the um, Alfredo sauce. Is it authentic? I don't know. Did I really just throw some stuff together? Yes, I did. So, Alfredo sauce, I have the water boiling. I'm gonna add in the broccoli with the pasta so that that can be cooked. And I'm gonna add cherry tomatoes to this. Hey right, y'all, and here's the finished product. It looks so good.